Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Supergeek and today we're going to talk about the latest version of Microsoft Edge browser based on Chromium OS. Stay tuned. So Microsoft has been working on a Chromium OS based Microsoft Edge browser since a very long time and finally Microsoft has released the developer version and the canary version of the Microsoft Edge browser based on Chromium for Windows 10. You can download it from the Microsoft Edge Insider website and install it on your Windows 10 and give it a quick ride. The beta channel is still not available but the developer channel and the canary channel is available right now. You can download it and install it on your Windows 10 like any other software so you will get more frequent updates on canary channel rather than the developer channel which get updates every week. The beta channel will get updates every 6 weeks but the beta channel is not available right now. It's still coming soon for Windows 10 and other OS as well. So neither of these builds are available for any other OS except Windows 10, not even on Windows 7, 8 or 8.1. Microsoft has their plans to release this version of Microsoft Edge on Mac OS 2 but it's not available right now. So you have to wait for the beta channel to go live and so you can install it on your Mac OS and Macbooks. So as you can see here this is the welcome page when you first install the Microsoft Edge. You can confirm it from here you can start up with your data or you can start from scratch. If you start from data you have to import your current browser settings bookmarks and all from those from that browser to this browser or you can start from scratch i'm going to start from scratch and hit confirm so it will ask you for this quick new tab look it's inspirational which will show you an inspirational wallpaper from bing with some quick sites and a search bar if you use informational it will give you a quick information like your start page, your news feeds and if you select focused it will show you just your website, pinned website and a search bar. I'm gonna go for inspirational and you can change it after you set up this new whole look. So this is your basic browser, it looks just like Microsoft Edge browser and it will act completely like Google Chrome. As you can see here, it has these settings focused, you can change it here, you don't have to set it in the welcome screen. You can use custom, you can show pinned website, image of the day, you can enable disable, you can enable disable show feeds. So you can scroll it, you get your feed, your news feed, just like in your Microsoft Edge browser right now. You can pin websites, you can add a website at a URL, google.com and add. That's it, you just have to launch that website. Now you can import your favorites from your other browser as you can see you can select your other browser mine is mozilla firefox but i'm not going to import anything so i'm gonna cancel it and let's go into the settings you have pretty basic settings edit remove sign out this is the profile settings you can sync you can you can manage passwords use manage your pid manage your payment info address and browser data you can add another profile uh, online or offline i don't know if you can add an offline yeah it's an offline profile you can add an online from here just click here browser guest as the profile and that's it now under appearance you have these basic tools like show home button show favorites bar never show zoom set zoom you can change fonts as well that's pretty much it now go to on startup yes this is pretty basic setting it will change your startup behavior on your microsoft edge browser continue where you left off i prefer new tab page 
Now go to privacy and services. Um, pretty basic things. Privacy, do not send requests. And pretty basic services. Defender, address bar, pretty basic. Now go to site permissions. Yep. Just like the Google Chrome browser, you can enable disable the permissions. Allow disable, you can set location, you can disable it. And that's it, yeah. Pretty much basic. That download page, you can change the download settings as well. It will ask where to save each file, or you can change the default location. In languages, you have languages pretty basic in printing you have yeah manage printer settings so under system you have these options container running background apps so right now apps is not available for microsoft edge but in future there will be so this will this feature will come in handy this feature will keep the apps running even if you close your microsoft edge browser reset settings so this will restore settings pretty basic thing now about microsoft edge yeah here you can change see here you can look for the updates in the browser made possible okay so this is about microsoft edge yes pretty basic thing so that's pretty much it i guess for the microsoft edge browser on chrome build and if you want to know how you can install i'm going to do that as well so if you want to know how to install google chrome extensions on this build of microsoft edge i'm going to show you right here go to extensions allow extensions mine is enabled go to google chrome go to google chrome store so google chrome store chrome.google.com you can use that url or you can just search as i did so there are themes and i don't know if themes works or not first i'm going to do extensions so grammarly yeah it's pretty basic everyone use it Honey Evernote, I'm going to use Evernote. Just click on it, add to Chrome, and it will start to download and install on your Microsoft Edge browser. So, as you can see, the download pop up is also similar to the Microsoft, to the Google Chrome. And, yep, as you can see, the Evernote Web Clipper has been installed. You can use it just like you do in your Google Chrome. So now I'm going to go ahead and install a theme. Let's check if it works or not. So go to themes. I'm going to use this just black theme. So add to Chrome, checking. There was a problem and Chrome prefer the page and show me. Okay. Okay so themes are not supported right now so that's microsoft edge on chromium for you guys if you like it you can install it on your windows 10 the link is in the description below and thanks for watching guys hope you like the video hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one